The fifth feature of the Cybertruck is actually a little bit traumatizing. What's up guys, here are six hidden features you might have not noticed on the Cybertruck or your eye just glimpsed through it. So the first feature we're gonna focus on today is the seats. So we know the Cybertruck comes in five seats or six seats. Now for the six seats, uh, there's three seats on the back and there's three seats on the front. Now the tricky part is there's a seat in between the passenger and the driver's seat. If you look at this photo really quick, you will notice one thing. The first thing is the seat right around here. I'm drawing this really quick so I can show you guys a few more things, okay? So that's the seat. Once you fold it, you have the sixth seat. Another cool thing here, you have a seat rester here, both for the driver and the passenger. So you both can rest your arm without having to fight against each other. There's also three cup holder around here. It's very hard to see because the photo is dark here right around here there's three cup holder here a second feature of the truck is actually the bed as elon would call it the vault the cover actually rolls if you're not using it at night you could just cover the whole thing out and the way it covers is very nice look at this video here showing you the bed of the cover actually opens and closes right now it's closed and it's gonna open by rolling itself outward see how cool that is and also, the guy pressed it on all the way to the left side, that's how you actually open it. And to close it, you would also press the same button. And I'm assuming for security reason, the car would actually have to be turned on for you to press that button. Another thing you might not even have considered is the cover of the bed, you could actually walk on it. This just tells you how sturdy this back cover actually is. Not only can you push it open and close, you could actually walk on it and it wouldn't break. Now obviously, if you jump on it and use all of your weight, I'm sure you could break it. Please hit the like button by now. It's just a confirmation for me to know there's actually someone watching it and someone that cares enough to hit the like button. The fourth hidden feature of the Cybertruck is a pass-through for cargo. If you're carrying lumbers, long pipes, skateboard, or anything that's like over six or seven or eight feet, you need something that goes either through your bed or all the way to the front of your car. As you can see the interior of the car, if you look at the back seat, you would notice right over here. That's supposed to be a pass-through for the cargo. So if you have a long pipe, you should be able to actually get it through here. And if you have anything long, notice how the height of the pass-through is very large. So you can actually put here as large of a width of a long pipe or skateboard actually in here. In comparison, Rivian truck actually has something very similar. Notice how in the middle of the truck, the width of it, they use it as a path-through for skateboard or anything that's the width of the car should be able to fit here as well. The fifth feature of the Cybertruck is actually a little bit traumatizing. I'm sorry ahead of time if I'm triggering some emotions. And that is for the frunk. Now Elon didn't have a time to actually cover the frunk or talk about it just because Elon was baffled by the window shattering at the middle of the presentation. I mean he just lost his train of thought. If you look at this photo here during the presentation, you will notice right around the left corner here, there's a frunk. And the way you notice is actually a frunk. The front of the car is because you see a headlight right over here. And here also you have the window. The front and the back can actually look the same. So you have to be careful looking at the headlights. Also, a bonus storage is actually the trunk of the car. Notice how there's a small compartment here where you could actually store some additional tools. I mean, there's just so many storages in this car. There's the front, there's the bed, there's a small compartment inside the bed. Uh, there is the armrest where you have a storage. You also have the pass-through where you could enter any kind of long steels or object through the car. The sixth hidden feature of the Cybertruck, actually this one's not my favorite, but let me know guys, it's the steering wheel. So it's using the steering wheel from the 2020 Roadster. Some of you might like, but for me it feels a little bit uncomfortable. Looking at this photo here, notice how the steering wheel, you could grab it from both sides, but you really can not grab it from the top. Now if you're a truck driver, I'm assuming you would like to rest your hand on top of the steering wheel. I might be wrong. Let me know guys, what do you think about that? If you like this video, please hit the like button. It's kind of like a confirmation for me to know there's actually people watching and not just a dead space. And if you like this content, make sure you subscribe. There's going to be more videos about Cybertruck. There's going to be more videos about any other Tesla product. And if you are a Tesla owner and you would like to participate in this channel, share your experience, reach out to me on this email address here. And specifically, if you are a Tesla Model 3 owner, 
make sure you reach out to me sharing your experience because I have a couple of set of floor mats that I could give to you for free. That wraps up this episode. If you like it, please hit it and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.